Elsa. Anna called as she entered the Enchanted Forest. Elsa had invited Anna, Rapunzel, Cassandra, Eugene, Kristoff, and Vary into the Enchanted Forest. With everything that happened after the girls had freed the energy spirit, the water spirit wasn't very happy. So far, the other spirits were fine. Olaf climbed onto Sven's back. What are you doing? Kristoff asked. Sven promised me he'd show me his favorite part of the forest, Olaf said. Sven walked away. Anna looked around the forest. She saw an area with a big hole and, a, and fallen trees. What happened? she asked. Samantha attacked the forest, Elsa replied. Why? Rapunzel asked. Nobody knows, Elsa said. Lightning randomly struck the ground. She's here, Cassandra said. Gail, who was nearby, began creating gusts of wind. Samantha angered the wind spirit, Elsa said. There she is, Anna pointed out. Samantha walked up. She used her powers on Anna to make her seem to have no energy. Anna, are you okay? Kristoff rushed over to her. I'm fine, Anna said. What did you do? Rapunzel asked. I can control multiple forms of energy, mostly lightning, but while I can't create fire, I can do this, Samantha said, and heated up the air. She then said, I use my powers to lower Anna's energy. Elsa used her powers to cool down the air. Bring Anna's energy back up to normal, Elsa demanded. Samantha refused. She shot a lightning bolt at the group. Cassandra created a wall out of the black rocks to stop it from hitting them. The earth giants saw the fight and got mad. They began throwing boulders. Rapunzel used her magic hair to stop the boulders. Samantha kept creating lightning. Elsa shot ice at Samantha. She dodged it and sent a lightning bolt Elsa's way. Cassandra created another wall to save Elsa. Rapunzel kept fighting the earth strands boulders. You have to stop this, Varian told Samantha. Never, Samantha said as she threw a lightning bolt at him. Cassandra created a black rock in front of Varian. We have to get her to stop, Eugene said. Rapunzel finally got the earth strands to stop throwing boulders. Samantha, why are you against the spirits? she asked. Samantha only got more mad and sent a lightning bolt Rapunzel's way. Rapunzel blocked it. Elsa shot ice at Samantha, which knocked her over and made her accidentally give Anna her energy back. Samantha ran away. We need to catch her, Anna said. And we need to find out why she's so mad, Rapunzel said. Let's go talk to Holland, Elsa suggested. But what about Samantha? She might try to destroy the forest, Kristoff said. You're right. Someone needs to stay behind and try to talk to Samantha, Elsa said. Cassandra and Varian looked at each other. Rapunzel had an idea. Cassandra, Varian, can you can you guys stay behind and try to talk to Samantha? She asked. We sure can, Cassandra replied. The rest of the group left to go to to Holland. Cassandra and Varian found Samantha. Samantha, why are you so angry? Varian asked. Why would you care? I'm after Cassandra, not you, Samantha replied. Me? Cassandra asked. She then said, Samantha, this is a mistake. Stop now before you lose everything, Varian said. I'm not losing anything, Samantha said. Trust us, becoming the villain isn't the answer, Cassandra and Varian said. Is that what you think I am, Samantha asked. Cassandra and Varian both knew they were in trouble. Samantha was now offended. Cassandra had deactivated the Moonstone after the previous fight with Samantha. She didn't want to have to use it, but if she had to, she would. Samantha began throwing lightning bolts at Cassandra. Cassandra dodged them. Samantha used her powers to reduce Cassandra's energy. Now she could barely move. Samantha ran away. Why is she only targeting you? Varian asked. I don't know. I think it's because I'm one of the spirits of the Enchanted Forest, but you are not, Cassandra said. Why is she so mad at the spirits? Varian asked. I don't know. Maybe they did something to her, Cassandra said. Come on, let's find the others, Varian suggested. Only Cassandra could barely walk. I don't think I can do this, Cassandra said. We need to get help, Varian said. I can help, Samantha said. I can help, Samantha said. Samantha, please help Cassandra, Varian said. Never, Samantha said. Meanwhile, Elsa and the others made it to Otto Holland. Now what? Rapunzel asked. 
Elsa, you go in onto Holland. We'll stay out here and make sure Samantha doesn't find us, Anna suggested. Elsa entered onto Holland. What do you think she'll find? Kristoff asked. I don't know, Anna said. While everyone waited for Elsa and Otto Holland, Marion had to throw anything he made with his alchemy to protect himself. Samantha was throwing lightning at him. Samantha, stop, Cassandra demanded. All she could do was watch. Cassandra tried to use the moonstone, but she couldn't. Samantha, please help Cassandra, Varian begged. No, Samantha refused. What could they do? Cassandra tried to think of something, but she couldn't. Black rocks appeared out of the ground, knocked Samantha over, and trapped her. The moonstone was helping her. Let me go, Samantha demanded. No, Cassandra said. Unless Samantha gave Cassandra her energy back, she would leave Samantha trapped. Anna stood outside out the hall with the others. She waited for Elsa to come back. So far, she wasn't coming. Suddenly, a trail of magic came out of Otto Holland, wrapped Anna around with snow, and, and took her into the magic river. Kristoff looked at Eugene and Rapunzel. He was confused. Cassandra and Varian waited for Samantha to give Cassandra her energy back. But even with Samantha now trapped in the Black Rocks, it didn't seem like it was going to happen. How did you help Elsa when Samantha did this to her? Cassandra asked. I don't remember, Varian said. An angry wind spirit showed up and created strong gusts of wind around Samantha. Samantha got so annoyed she gave Cassandra her energy back and ran away as soon as Cassandra freed her. Let's go find the others, Varian suggested. Let's go, Cassandra said. What happened to Anna? Rapunzel asked. Did one of the spirits do this? Eugene asked. None of the spirits can control ice, Kristoff said. Except Elsa, Rapunzel said. Cassandra and Varian found the others. How did it go? Rapunzel asked. Not the best, Cassandra said. I think Elsa and Anna are back, Kristoff pointed out as the sisters exited onto Holland. What did you find out? Eugene asked. Samantha wasn't always like this. She used to be more like Elsa, Anna said. More like Elsa? Rapunzel questioned. She was confused about her powers, Anna said. Right after the force was freed, Samantha came looking for the other spirits because she wondered if she was one of them, Elsa explained. Then she continued. She found the water spirit and they played together. Samantha rode on Nock to Otto Holland. When Samantha made it to Otto Holland, she went too far. I think she blamed the spirits for what happened and now she's mad. Everyone else was shocked to hear that. How can we prove the spirits didn't do anything? Rapunzel asked. I did see that Nock had left Otto Holland before Samantha entered, Anna said. Nock, th Nock did that for me too. Maybe we just need to show Samantha that, Elsa said. It won't be easy, Cassandra said. Think of everything else we've done, like defeating Xanteri, Rapunzel said, or freeing the Enchanted Forest, Anna said. What about when we stop the Saporians from taking over Corona, Eugene asked, and stopping Prince Hans from taking over Arendelle, Elsa said. See, those were probably harder. We can do this, Rapunzel said. We just have to figure out how, Anna said. Cassandra can trap her like before, Varian suggested. Everyone else was confused. You trapped Samantha? Elsa asked. I did, Cassandra replied. With everything that had happened that day, the group could, could possibly finally convince Samantha to stop trying to cause destruction and return balance back to the spirits. The group left off to Holland. They finally knew what to do.